Alright, so we're back with the only game where the characters in the cutscenes look like they want to die. It's Chef. Potentially with like a subtitle, I'm still really not sure if there is one or not. So I had plans today. This is something I've wanted to do. I want to make a recipe using every single item in the entire game and then see how high we can get the price on it and charge people for it. Over here in the loading screen. <laughs> Forgot all about this. This is uh, this is apparently my initial impressions of the game. These are my saved file names. I'm pretty. It doesn't say what the date was that I saved this. I I assume this is the last one we had. So the developers made some changes to the game after some of our feedback. One of them was the ability to lock and unlock the freaking name for the restaurant so it doesn't change all the time. But you guys mentioned what your favorite name was in the comments section, and the winner is a. It's kind of like the Fonz had a stroke halfway through his signature saying, but that's, you guys liked it, so that's what we're using. Over to the recipe editor. Damn it. It's time to make, I don't know what I want to call this. We're going to call it the Lance Armstrong. There we go. I'm going to make it grilled meat because that seems good. Ah, grilled meat with a lovely vomit porridge underneath it. Fantastic. Oh, you get to choose your meat style. You have the, the medium meat, the cylindrical meat, and the flat meat. I think we're gonna go with the cylindrical meat. Like some asparagus, some cheese curds, maybe a caramelized onion. Ah, green entrails, fantastic. Oh, it's gonna be a main course, all right. So now I don't know if you're allowed to just add everything, but I want to add everything. So like the main meat can just be whatever the most expensive is, lamb. Sure. Can you put more meat in here? Can we get double the meat? No, you only get one meat. Never mind. I have found a way to get more meats. Oh, thank you, God. I'm really curious what's going to happen to this side area once we add everything. So we broke the game the last time by putting tables outside of the environment, which completely destroyed all physics and we weren't able to play anymore. My plan today is to see if I can destroy the economy. I'm really curious. Wow, you could put... I guess there's no limit to how much stuff I could put in here. I'm really curious if the developers will stop me from making this. And if I and if I do make this, if they will limit me to how much I can charge for it. Because right now we're at 3,300 calories. That's why I called it the Lance Armstrong, see? This is like a typical, uh, this is like a, a typical meal for him or something like that. Yep. Salmon. Oh, don't tell me I'm out of space. Nope, definitely not out of space. Bass. Carp. Holy crap. Crab is really expensive. Yeah, get up in there. <laughs> Butter. Cow cheese. Nothing shall be spared. I'm at- What's really scary is look at how high this recipe rating is so far. Look, at, I took my time and tried to make a horrible recipe last time, and it got a pretty decent rating. This ridiculous garbage pail of ingredients is gonna have like a higher rating than that. I feel like I'm on an episode of Chopped. Because they can make every ingredient work. You guys ever seen Chopped? You know, they're like, look, we're gonna add some bay leaves, then some apples, add a little banana peel in there. I'm gonna, we're gonna, what do they always do? We're gonna zest it. Plenty of margarine. What the hell? A little bit of chocolate, some corn. Oh, now it's starting to lag. We've, we're adding so many ingredients that now every time I add an ingredient, it lags the game. Mmm. Honey and ketchup together. Fantastic. It's, it's leveling out the, the flavor, the flavor, uh, Profile over here. The taste is zero, but the flavor is 40. Okay. Okay. I think I've added almost every single ingredient except for the beer and that's going in there too. So we got a 76 score out of this. It is 4,500 calories and it costs $21 to make. Welcome everyone to the Lance Armstrong. It's going on the freaking menu. I'm gonna get rid of some of this other, like, lesser garbage over here. We don't need all this. All right, and we're gonna charge, uh, let's start out somewhat decent. We're gonna charge $300 for this meal. I'm gonna, I'm really curious if we can get even one person to buy the Lance Armstrong. Let's freaking do this. All right, now I think that there's a way over here to look at... Yeah, okay, so you can see what everyone buys. We just have to wait and see if anyone ever buys the Lance Armstrong. I think that we'll see a giant jump in our income as well. Let's move things along here. Need a couple other 
trendy tables too. I wonder if they fixed, I wonder if there's anything additional besides the sad plant nowadays. The sad plant has become famous. What do we have over here, like pink tables and green chairs? Uh, yeah, that looks kind of like what I, I had before. Bob Ross is currently staring intently at the food prep tables. I'm honestly not sure if anyone's legitimately doing their job or not. It's kind of hard to tell in this game. I think it just happened. Hold on, I need to check my stats. I think we just sold a Lance Armstrong. Where is it? Yes, $305 bill. Okay, am I the only one that thinks that it's kind of ironic that the cheapskate was the one that purchased the Lance Armstrong. We got a three star rating out of it. I think after buying the Lance Armstrong, I broke the game again because now nothing's happening anymore. A week has gone by and the restaurant's still open and there's no additional people coming at all. Like either I scared the living hell out of the entire planet with that one dish or we've broken the game. My entire staff is just looming in front of the kitchen. Okay, so we broke the game the last time, but it's fine. I remade the Lance Armstrong and I don't know how, but I think it's even more calories now, w whatever. All right, the restaurant has been remade. I think one of my tables is different color than the other table. Actually, two of them may be different colors than the other table. It'll be fine. Let's get some sad plants up in here. Don't worry, sad plant. Bob Ross accepts you. Your mother probably didn't accept you. Your father probably thought you were a disappointment, but Bob Ross accepts you. There we go. I think I'm gonna have a lot less wait staff this time. Maybe this way, like, we won't get everyone just shucked in front of the door with nowhere to go. All right, people are starting to roll in here. We're gonna see if we can serve another Lance Armstrong. If we get it to work, I'm gonna start pumping the prices up over and over again and see how high I can get it. What y'all eat? You don't mind if I loom over your shoulders while you eat, do you? Toilet cleaning. Typhus containment protocol. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll put some cleaning in here because it looks like all of it was turned off. One Bob Ross. 500 freaking people waiting for food. Can he keep up with the multitude of orders that are flooding his way? Yes, he can because he is not you. Bob Ross is a legendary, almost deific entity. There is nothing he can't do. You better sell one of those Lance Armstrongs, I swear to God. Oh my God, hold on, I need to pause this real quick. I've been jacking up all the prices to ridiculous amounts and we just sold something. I need to look at what the hell it was because it, oh my God. <laughs> $2,300 food bill. $2,300 and then another $239. I've just been like changing all of the prices to like $1,500 and like $2,000 and stuff like that. Oh my God, this is awesome. We are gonna charge the hell out of these people. Oh, now I've noticed that the game tries to stop me from doing this because once my menu is like completely out of control, my gold on, <laughs> it happened again. Yes, $2,500, $500, what is it? This is like, this is like some Jake Paul level eating up in here. Old Ahmed is spending $2,500 on his meal for the day. We're still getting two and a half stars out of it too. You can kind of fool the game because what you can do is once your area is full up with people, you change the menu amounts to ridiculous numbers. Hold on. Hold on, that as it is, I wonder how high we can get it. Hold on, I have some ideas. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna get everyone, s actually, hold on, let me, let me buy some more tables, I have an idea. I don't even care what color everything is now. It's all about the money at this point. I think I can shove a couple more tables in here. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna get as many people in here as we can, and then we're gonna jack the prices up astronomically, like insanely. All right, here comes all the people. They're all getting seated. We want, we want like a full room here. I wanna see how much I can screw this, how much I can screw everyone over. Okay, let's see if this works. We're, I don't know if this is gonna work like it's supposed to, but I guess if we, if suddenly we end up with like tens of thousands of dollars, we'll know everyone's eating, like nothing's. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> yes. 
Oh my god. How much did it was it? <laughs> it's twenty three million dollars. Twenty four million dollars. I was like, is this is this two billion dollars? Two billion dollars for an apple cream pie, and we got two stars out of it. Hold on, what kind of? I gotta know what sort of things are these people saying about us right now because we just got two like billion it's a surprise i didn't expect much but at the end of the lunch i felt quite satisfied it was definitely worth the price a waste of money restaurants should offer a better experience than the one i can get at my own place especially when i spend like 24 million dollars for a butter pasta. Oh, the rest of these guys still have to pay. <laughs> We're at like seven billion dollars. Oh my God. Nine billion, 11. I don't even know how much at this point. It's for 17 billion dollars. 17.3, is it? I, I, I'm pretty sure it's billions at this point. Hold on, I need to save this. This save is called stacks all right so i think that was i think that's a pretty good day so far um our earnings uh today was uh 17.3 uh, billion dollars uh i think bill gates would be proud about that i'm pretty i'm pretty sure he would be uh he would be happy with with that turnover right there available restaurants uh and an and extra large rent from being in a mall and and being near an amusement park and having a luxury hotel yeah yeah, whatever. $2,900. That's like, I got that. It, that's the lint in our pockets right now. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say that today was a success. I think at the end of the day, we move into a new building. It really doesn't matter at this point because we've made so much money. Come on now, you know. You, you'd pay $2 billion for a cheap blonde beer, right? Oh, I guess we might as well finish out the day, though. We've got we've got a couple more hours to uh, make a couple... A couple. Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Pause this real quick. Now that we're stacked beyond every possible belief in the entire universe, there's no reason not to have only the best items for our customers. Everyone gets a trendy bookcase. There. Trendy bookcases for everyone. Yes. Flaunt your superior intelligence with a grossly overpriced bookcase. Sure, a utensil clock. Where can I put this? Somewhere over here by the, uh, maybe by the kitchen area or something. Oh, there we go. We'll put one back. Actually, you know what? What the hell not? We'll put two back here. It'll look like some eyes looking at people. Impressionalism. This guy right over here, he enjoys making $2 billion a day. Although technically, I guess that was post-impressionalism. I don't know if they're if they're as stringent on economics as impressionalism. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they are. I'm gonna put this carpet down because this table deserves only the best, since they're paying more for one meal than like some countries pay in a year. I feel like I'm just gonna throw some plants everywhere. Wherever I can fit a plant, we'll we'll put one down. Little vases as well. Yes, everyone, come come sit. Everyone sit. Only the finest food. In this restaurant, yes, tell all your friends. Everyone have a good time. Let's fill up all those tables. Come on, guys. Let's fill up all the tables. There we go. Now it's time to screw everyone over. <laughs> all right. I think that looks like an appropriate menu. <sighs> See how it does. There is no game that we cannot break together. It's just a matter of time for us to find a way to destroy either the economy, the way the game works, or something to that effect. I'm kind of wondering if these people will even leave. Oh my god, yes. Yes. <laughs> We're going to get over $100 billion. Uh, yep, $100 billion, $200 billion. Sure, why not? I should have went for a trillion. You know, why not after all? Hold on, I gotta look at my stats over here. Oh my god. We're still- because of- because I've upped the- the appearance of the inside of the restaurant, we're still getting two and a half stars. <laughs> Alright, well, we made 368 billion dollars, I think. I'm gonna feel really bad this whole time if, like, my eyes were playing tricks on me and I've missed a couple of commas or something like that for the numerics. We made a lot of money, okay? It doesn't matter. At this point, does it does it really matter what the numerics are? It's it's at a price area 
where uh, we could basically do whatever we want. So uh, I guess developer that may <laughs> You may want to think about that. Anyway, I said we were going to do it. We did it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Chef where we broke we broke the world. We broke the entire economy. Not even not even Donald Trump could afford to eat here. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>